Hey everybody, Chad here. Well, a few days ago, a horrible thing happened. First world problem, horrible thing. We had a uh, deer get into the flower bed that's fenced in when you first walk in, if you've seen all the tours, um, up the walkway to the front door. So there's an edge that doesn't have a fence. It's just got a bunch of um, trees slash big, big shrubs. And our dogs use that to go out and under, um, kind of like a little tunnel. Well, evidently the deer, I don't know how many because our doorbell battery died about two days before that. And I had just thought about changing it that night and didn't, was gonna wait till in the morning. And of course it happened right then. So I didn't even get any evidence, but uh, our roses were eaten as you saw. Um, several different things were nibbled on, hydrangeas. Nothing was completely devastated, but um, some blooms on those limelight hydrangeas are probably not gonna show up now. And then also right back here in the retaining wall area, um, deer came through here. And here's the weird part. That's what I wanna to talk to you about is what I use to keep deer away because we have had a year go by and haven't had any deer issues, but everything was in that front area. We had the rose trees outside the gated area and everything else was in the gated area and I close the gate every night. Um, so a deer would have to sneak in um, through the little hole on the side there to get in there or jump the fence and there's spikes on the fence. So uh, I don't think they would do that with all the stuff they'd have to land on, but they might. So anyway, we went for a year with no incidents. And for the last few years, we have used this. Uh, it doesn't have the thing. So how about that? I didn't even look. It's liquid fence. You can get this at Lowe's, Home Depot's, all of our garden centers or a lot of our garden centers sell this. This is liquid fence, deer and rabbit repellent. This is the kind that comes ready to spray. Um, this stuff, you're supposed to spray it on, I think like once a month it says, or every few weeks, but if it rains, you go out there and you do it again. Also, um, you wanna let it dry. So if it rain, if it's about to drizzle or something and you've just sprayed it, you wanna have it time to dry. But this smells really, really bad when you're spraying it. After an hour or so, you can't smell anything. Your flowers smell fine. The only reason, um, the only thing I didn't like about this is, and this may be with all of them, when you spray it on some of your roses, it can help them get black spot and stuff like that. Kind of, I think, help that because it's sticking to them and your leaves look dusty as well. Kind of a film over them, which is what this is doing to protect them. But, um, so I, I know I don't like that, but it keeps the deer from eating them. So it's worth it. Uh, I always spray it at night mostly because that's when I'm able to get out here and spray it. And oftentimes that's when I think about it or when I'm letting the dogs out to go to the bathroom at night. So I spray it at night. Um, that might hurt the roses a little more about the black spot because you're not supposed to wet the roses leaves at night. Um, so early in the morning, spray this, and that might be better because then it has all day to dry and only takes a few hours for it to dry completely. So this liquid fence used it successfully um, for the past few years and haven't had any major issues with deer. We have tame herds of deer in this neighborhood that just walk around and they don't care. They'll eat everything. Um, however, the other day when they got in the flower bed in, in the front, I didn't care because I hadn't sprayed any of that stuff. We had a little rabbit, but I didn't care about him. So I didn't spray it. That's normal. I expected that if they, if they ever got in. But the stuff I had not sprayed, or I had just sprayed that night, um, the rose trees in the front, they didn't touch any of those. So they got all the good stuff inside that didn't have any spray on it. So then I went around and sprayed everything. The next day I came, that those deer had come back and they had eaten over here all those new drift roses down to the ground almost, or at least not to the ground. They didn't hurt the drift roses. But they had all the blooms, all the leaves just about off of them. So now they've got to kind of start over. And that was not cool, especially because I had just sprayed this on them that, um, I think a day or two days beforehand. So it should have been at full strength and they just ignored it. Now I heard that baby deer, because there's some babies around here right now, they sometimes don't have quite the uh, taste buds as the parents. So they just eat whatever and they don't care how it tastes at first. So it could have been babies that ate them down, but they ate them good. They, they really did a number and they tasted a bunch of other stuff. Sun Credibles, um, New Dawn Rose, Climbing Rose back here, tasted that one. But anyway, so very quickly, this is what I've been using, liquid fence. Just ran out when I sprayed last night. My wife found this online. This is called Deer Out Deer Repellent, um, Latore's Latour, Deer Out. And it's supposed to um, not wash off very easily with rain. You're supposed to apply it every 30 to 90 days. I'll probably apply it once a week at first. Um, so this is from Concentrate. So I'm gonna have to get a pump and put that in there. 
that's what we're going to start using just to see how it goes. I may buy another thing of this and use them in combination with each other because I've been doing a lot of planting and we got a lot of plants out here unprotected. So whatever will keep those deer away. And then my neighbor have been using some of these little owls that have motion detectors and they light up and they make a high pitch frequency sound and they're very sensitive. I tested this one out. It does show up in the dark. If I walk by it, it'll start going crazy and lighting up and making that annoying noise, high pitch. Um, he didn't have one like he originally had. He had them all set up around his garden and I put this out. The next night is when everything got eaten. Now, this was facing this direction and the deer kind of came around here and ate all this stuff back here and didn't go in front of it as far as I saw. There was nothing to eat in front, but I was thinking if they came this way and I only got one, I can't protect everything. So anyway, they, they were basically behind this where it won't pick up anything. Um, so I don't know if that works great or not. I haven't had it long enough to uh, really pay attention, except my neighbor has several owl looking things, different types that are around that do this kind of thing. And deer just got into his yard later a night or two ago and ate all of his tomatoes, everything down to the ground. So evidently they might get used to these, ignore them or what have you. So um, I'll put it out anyway, either way. It's solar powered, so you don't have to charge it. We're gonna start using deer out. Keep uh, some liquid fence around as well. Do whatever it takes. Um, besides me having to be Rambo and come out here at night and hide in the dirt until the deer come and then I shall take care of them myself. All right, well, so that's it. Just update, thankfully nothing was eaten too bad, except my rows of Sharon's, they look pretty horrible. They were just getting about to bloom and now they just look like sticks. But um, a lot of stuff out here is not deer repellent, a lot of stuff is. And I'm just hoping they don't get up on the deck and find all these baskets hanging everywhere and on the deck because I think it would just be a feast for them. But anyways, if you like this video or if you're sad about this video, hit the like button. I understand. Hit subscribe if you haven't and share it with your friends and let them know we'll be doing some reviews on Liquid Fence. Also, this deer out, we'll, we'll keep it up and see what goes on. Um, talk to y'all later. Bye-bye. This right here is our newest uh, deer repellent. She's not new to us, but she likes to roam around inside the house all night long. She doesn't like to sleep, except for now, of course, during the daytime. So we decided last night we're just going to let her outside um, and let her just kind of do her wandering around in the yard. And she barked most of the night. Thankfully, most of the neighbors here are uh, houses are under construction, so they're not actually living here. And um, I think the other neighbors are probably a little too far away to hear. But um, no deer did anything last night. So, hey, that's something. But I was hoping she'd catch one and then uh, we could uh, use it to warn all the other deer. But she probably just was asleep or barking at who knows what she heard. But anyway thinking of letting the dogs randomly out at night, um, especially this here, uh, Molly the Collie. We're gonna let her out, patrol the grounds a little bit and hopefully spook them and make them where they don't wanna get in here. Stinking deer.